we have assembled to join in marriage Marguerite Meinzer and Keith Fitzgerald. During this celebration of life and love, let us remember Marguerite's grandmother, Margaret Kenton, who looks down upon this ceremony with joy. I now welcome Marguerite's mother, Monica Meinzer, to present the first reading. From the first letter to the Corinthians. Though I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, if I have no love, I am a clanging bell or a tinkling cymbal. Though I prophesy and see into all the mysteries and hidden knowledge and have faith enough to move mountains, if I have no love, I am nothing. And though I give away all my possessions to feed the poor and offer up my body to be burned, if I have no love, I have nothing. Love is patient and kind, is never envious or boastful or conceited, does not act rudely or selfishly, is not easily angered, does not count up offenses, takes no pleasure in injustice, but rejoices in the truth, includes all things, has faith in all things, hopes for all things, endures all things, Love never ends. If there are prophecies, they will disappear. If there is ecstasy, it will cease. If there is knowledge, it will vanish. But faith, hope, and love remain forever. These three, and the greatest of these, is love. I would now ask Keith's mother, Christine Fitzgerald, to provide the second reading. And I want to wish happy Father's Day to everybody and their fathers living and deceased that we'll all be praying. Uh, today I'm, I'm um, reading an excerpt from the Prophet uh, by Cahil Gibran. And the message of this reading relates to marriage. As Keith and Marguerite go forward in their lives together, they will be united but they should each encourage the other to develop their own independence and interests. This will benefit the larger entity that is the family, the family they now share with their darling, Shaylin. And this is the reading. You were born together, and together you shall be forevermore. You shall be together when white wings of death scatter your days. You shall be together even in the silent memory of God. But let there be spaces in your togetherness and let the winds of the heavens dance between you. Love one another, but not make a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your soul. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together and be joyous, but let each one of you be alone. Even as the strings of a lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping, for only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. Thank you, Christina. If anyone knows of any reason why this marriage should not be performed, let them now state it, or forever hold their peace. If any reason be known to either of you why you should not be joined in marriage, you are now charged and required to make known the same. For the bond of marriage is a binding covenant, to be entered into only in the utmost of good faith, and to endure so long as you both shall live. Marguerite, will you take this man to be your wedded husband, to live with him in the lawful state of wedlock, to love, comfort, honor, respect, protect, and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, so long as you both shall live? Keith, will you take this woman to be your wedded wife, to live with her in the lawful state of wedlock, to love, comfort, honor, respect, protect, and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, so long as you both shall live. Keith, 
please repeat after me. I, Keith. I, Keith. Take you, Marguerite. Take you, Marguerite. To be my wife. Be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Marguerite, please repeat after me. I, Marguerite, I, Marguerite. Take, you, Keith, take you, Keith, to be my husband, to, be my husband. To, have and to, hold, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward until death do us part. What token do you offer that you will faithfully fulfill these vows? Rings. <laughs> Keith, please place the ring on Marguerite's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I be wed. I be wed. <laughs> Marguerite, please place the ring on Keith's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> With this ring, I be wed. I be wed. This union is a beautiful tribute to your faith in each other, that not knowing what is before you, you begin your married life by the voluntary and complete surrender of your individual lives in the interest of that life which you are about to share. Henceforth, you will belong entirely to each other. You will be one in mind and one in heart. And whatever sacrifices you may have to make to preserve this common life, always make them generously. For as much as Marguerite and Keith have consented to take each other in lawful wedlock and have pledged their fidelity to the other, and having declared the same, by the giving and receiving of a ring. Now, by virtue of the authority vested in me under the laws of the state of Rhode Island, I now pronounce you husband and wife and declare that you have been lawfully married. You may now kiss the bride. Mr. and Mrs. Keith Fitzgerald.
<laughs> yeah. yeah. Something. Where are you going? Huh. That didn't work. There we go. That's perfect. Jim. Jim. Nice. <laughs> Casey, look at the camera. Hey. 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 There you go. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good girl. Perfect. I'm a beautiful girl. I'm so gorgeous. Good yeah. girl. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Hey, guys. Yeah. Get around you. Yeah. 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 Come on, boys. Good girl. Go run. Good girl. Good job. Get away from me. Nice. Yeah. I'll, I'll swear to look in the Okay. Now she's feeling better now. Oh. Yeah. Yes. What a good girl. She's a good girl. Yes. Yay. Yay. Gather you all and bring it inside so that you can get lined up to the next favorite. So for now, go drink, um, eat, be, be merry, and then I will come and get you a Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my name is Yeah, well, that's pretty right there, yeah. Okay. Right there, look. Oh, it's like it's right here. Yeah. 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 Look at you, jack of all trades. Me. Look at that. See? You're gonna learn to drive a limo and I'll be good. Would you be jell of all trades once you're a girl? Oh, aren't you clever? Ugh. Casey, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> what are you doing out here, Phil?